let's understand tag sequencing so say for an example you would like your Google Analytics tag to fire above your LinkedIn Insight tag or you would like your segment tag to be only fired after the Google Analytics and the LinkedIn Insight tag is already fired so you want to be able to sequence uh, various tags in 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 a way that solves your problems and uh, the reason you would want to do that is sometimes a segment tag, if it fires above every other tag, may interfere in the way uh, Google Analytics gets its data or LinkedIn gets its data. So if you run into problems about, uh, you know, with certain tags and they, they sort of uh, compromise the collection of data by other tags, you can always sequence them to fire at the end of all the other tags that are fired. So how you would go about doing that? So you'd go on, click the click the... Uh, analytics or whatever tag you want to sequence click on the tag itself click on advanced setting and go to tag sequencing now you either have the option to fire a tag before Google Analytics or you have a uh, you know the option to fire a tag after Google Analytics so let's say if I wanted to seg uh, I wanted to have the segment um, trigger after the Google Analytics um, then obviously I'll set it up this way. The other thing I could do, like if I wanted my LinkedIn Insight tag to be fired first, Google Analytics to be second, and Segment to be third, is I could set up the Google Analytics to fire before Segment, and then set up LinkedIn to fire before Google Analytics. And, and that would pretty much be the way you would go about sequencing your tag. There's an option here that says don't fire Segment if Google Analytics is paused or fails uh, which you would check depending on whether a segment actually depends on Google Analytics or not or you'd rather have segment fire independently without Google Analytics so that's all there is to know about the tag sequencing um, you know you can even have custom firing schedules under advanced options of only trigger on certain dates or end of dates or time zones um, and other options that you can get under the advanced settings.